Okay, I'm excited again to be uh, here back at the woodworks. Um, I'm gonna make my mother's date nut bread. Now, between me and my sisters, we couldn't find a recipe. Found a recipe for her date nut balls, which were these like balls she used to make that were great too. But she always made this date nut bread. I like dates, so I wanted to try it. it this is a little different, so let me run down the list of ingredients. Two cups chopped pitted dates, about eight ounces. Four tablespoons butter, room temperature. One tablespoon baking soda, three-fourths teaspoon salt, three-fourths cup brown sugar, one cup of hot coffee, one large egg, one teaspoon vanilla extract, one tablespoon cognac or brandy. I didn't have any, it's optional, up to you if you wanna do it. A half a teaspoon of baking powder, one and three-fourths cup all-purpose flour, and one cup chopped walnuts. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna Put the dates in a bowl with the butter, the sugar, uh, the salt, and the baking soda. Just put it in the mixing bowl and then you're gonna cover it with the coffee. and just gonna mix it around a little bit. Gonna break up the butter a little bit. And that's it. The butter will melt down and it's gonna become this mixture. Um, so we're gonna let this sit for 15 minutes and then be back to finish everything else off. Next step, gonna take um, the baking powder, vanilla extract, and the egg. And whisk that in. So as you can see, this is not typical baking. Um, not normally what I do, or how you would make banana bread. Um, what's the other kind of breads like this? Banana bread. Pumpkin bread. Pumpkin bread. This is just a different process. So next, we're going to fold in the flour. Okay, and now I'm just gonna fold in the walnuts which I toasted. One cup. I might use a little bit more. I love walnuts, so. It's definitely gonna make it really delicious. But this is it. Checking, did I miss anything? Anyone, anyone? no. My assistant is gone. She's feeding the dogs. Let's get this in my pan. I got my banana bread pan here. Just gonna get the mixture in here. The oven's already set to 350. And it's gonna go in for 45 to 55 minutes. Okay, just wanna spread it around so it's even. And that's it. 
really happy. I thought that was gonna be a little more difficult, but it's not. Uh, into the oven, set to 350 for 45 to 55 minutes. Be back in 55 minutes. Okay, Betty's dating up bread is ready. You're gonna take it out the oven. See how it looks. It looks fantastic. Look at that. And the house just smells like dating up bread. I'm gonna let it cool off and uh, give it a taste. Be back. Okay, Betty's date not bread. Really excited. Let's see if it brings back memories. Mmm. Oh boy. Really good. Mmm. Mmm. The dates taste so good because soaking in the coffee, you just got all that flavor. But the flavor is not overly coffee. It's a hint of it. Super moist, but has a nice little crust on the outside. See that? Just look at it. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Mmm. So good. Now see the little piece with the little crust there? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's the perfect bite. With the little crust, and then the moist cake there and bread. Mmm. I could easily eat this whole piece. Hold on, one more bite. Good. It's like a mound of happiness, of joy. Having a hard time of getting the mound in focus. There we go. Get it in focus, man! <laughs> it's beautiful! Mm. Brings back so many memories. Watching my mom spread butter across a piece of this. But not melt the butter, just spreading butter over the whole thing. Really, really happy. Oh, man. It's so good. Try it. Betty's date nut bread. The crunch of the walnuts is fantastic. Just one more bite. One more bite. Yeah! Mom, I hope you're proud. Love you. Gonna let it cool off. What? Sorry. It smells very good. What the heck? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Were you talking to yourself or to me? To you. Okay, thanks. It smells good. <laughs> All right. 